Well, students at Savannah State University get the opportunity to see that poetry is more than rhyming in cadence and that there are many forms of powerful writing three times every school year in partnership with the Georgia Poetry Circuit. The most recent of these events is tied in a theme in keeping with Black History Month when another nationally acclaimed author discussed her work on campus. I just went in there for hair and noticed I was being watched through mirrors and corners, though I go nowhere looking broke. I got jobs. But since I'm black, this female just knew I was going to steal something, right? The content was as fascinating as the craft when the Georgia Poetry Circuit returned to Savannah State University. I'm a writer myself, so to write about activism, to write about things that impact the black community, that impact people of color, it was really inspiring to hear. For almost 10 years, SSU has been the only HBCU participating in the program where nationally renowned poets travel the state giving workshops at schools. But it was an in-person event for just the second time since the pandemic last week for Courtney Faye Taylor's craft talk on her first book, Concentrate. It was such an honor to talk to black students about the work that I'm doing because it so much centers on black identity and black justice. I felt like it was amazing. It touched on many different issues and it creatively touched topics to which a lot of times in the African American community we see one instance as the beginning, but in reality it began a long time ago. Concentrate details the story of a 1991 murder of a 15-year-old black girl in a Los Angeles convenience store and the frustration with the legal process afterward that remains a source of frustration in the African-American community three decades later. Her poetry explores issues uh, that a lot of these students are studying here on campus, whether it's identity, history, um, the legacy of you know, the African-American experience, but she does it in ways that probably they, they haven't encountered before. Faye Taylor's book uses collage and visuals alongside writing to tell her story. And the craft talk was another example of how three Georgia Poetry Circuit events per year help expose SSU students to unique literature and storytelling on a regular basis. The idea of positing you know, arguments about identity and things like that through poetry and through visual arts is really important. And so we like to um, bring that aspect of the humanities to campus and um, have students uh, have access to these poets that they might not otherwise have access to. It's very cumulative. I can bring this information that I learned today, I can bring it to my journalism career, so it's very helpful. I know I want to get into publishing, and so it really creates a platform and a possible connection for me if I utilize the resources my university gives me. Uh, these are really interesting sessions uh, that they are very thankful to be able to do back in person because they're just so much more impactful that way. But open to all students, open to the public. Uh, you, you know, you can go out there and, and take part in these. Uh, the author takes questions. It's just really kind of a look behind the curtain of, of how poetry is put together. Yeah. He, although that, was, that looked like a, a book, it was actually poetry, and that's what a craft talk did. It kind of broke down the author's thinking right. of, of how she put the book together. And that was, that was a student there at the very end who was talking? Yes. It, yeah, wants to get into pu publishing. And that. I think it's important, he kind of mentioned, you, you have to take advantage of these. The, stu the school's going to present these right. opportunities and, and having these renowned poets and artists who are coming in here to the school. As a student, you have to take advantage of those opportunities mm -hmm. that they are presenting to you because you just never know where it can take you. And that's yeah, really and cool. you know, it was really kind of compelling to students in any major. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the two that we heard from in that piece just happened to be one was an English major, one was a journalism major or mass communications major. But you can be studying anything in Savannah the subject and, and matter. spoke to you. Yeah. Because that, yeah, the subject matter of that book was, was very compelling and so well told uh, by, by the author, who later that night did a reading in downtown Savannah, packed the house to that as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. All right, coming up, staying heart healthy is a focus of this month.